Well, guys, it's been a while since we did any Science on Truth loader, but I thought you might like this, so here goes. This is Google's new self-driving car. Not a modified Prius, or Prius, depending on where you live. A custom car, custom built by Google. And it only has one button, which says stop or start. No pedals, no steering wheel. Or at least it won't have those things eventually. The early versions actually do because of road traffic laws, which means that the driver has to be able to step in if they need to. But eventually it'll just be you, a sat nav, a big red button marked go, and the open highway, which you'll be cruising along at an astonishing 25 miles an hour, which for our international audience is 40 kilometers per hour, which is pretty slow. And you'll notice that the cars are also ridiculously cute in a sort of Japanese, slightly creepy way. But there's actually a reason for this. See, traditionally, self-driving cars look terrifying. A mess of wires and whirring balls stuck on top of a stock car, which makes it look just a flux capacitor away from an 80s sci-fi film. And that scares people. These are the cute faces of self-driving cars. They're designed to be slow and pretty so that skeptics can begin to trust the machines with their lives. That said, these cars are very basic. They are, after all, just prototypes and lack creature comforts or luxury. They don't even have four seats, but then they can drive themselves. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. And wow, can they drive themselves. Sensor networks mean they have no blind spots. Even in heavy congestion, they can sense the movement of objects hundreds of meters away and plan their movements accordingly. They can park. If there's a space, they will find it. Google planned to build a hundred of these prototypes with early examples having pedals and steering wheels just to be safe, and later more advanced models doing away with them once they've received state approval. The first cars are set to become operational over the summer with a Californian test scheme starting a couple of years later. And along with the hundred self-driving cars Volvo is planning on introducing to parts of Gothenburg in Sweden in the next couple of years, and promises from Nissan of an autonomous car by 2020, the age of traffic jams, accidents and drink driving could be coming to an end. I love my car, I really do, but I also love these cars.